They're in your schools, churches, governments, and mirrors. These are people whose sole defining characteristic is their lack of companionship. And while this may be a tale as old as time, it hasn't been until recently that these singles have been able to come together in online communities which make up the incelosphere. The term incel is a portmanteau of the words, involuntarily, celibate. It simply describes an individual who is unable to find their desired romantic partner for one or more of a multitude of reasons. Being an incel can describe a person of any race, gender, or beliefs, but recently the word has been specifically assigned to those who are straight, white, and have right-wing extremist beliefs. Within the online communities that make up the incelosphere, Certain phrases and ideas are repeated, which gives incels a distinct vocabulary to easily express their ideas. For example, stemming from the word incel, the suffix cell is used to form words which commonly relate or describe a person's reasons for being involuntarily celibate. Some examples of this are due to a person's race, such as curry cells or rice cells. Some of them are physical traits, such as bald cells, ugly cells, or fat cells. Female incels are known as femcels, although this is a divisive topic in the incel community because many of them will argue that femcels cannot exist due to the female's inherent larger dating pool. Another incel term is the idea of maxing something. When maxing is added to the end of the word, it means that they are trying to improve or max out that aspect of themselves in order to appear more attractive and raise their sexual market value. This term comes from role-playing games where one can max out a stat in order to have an advantage in the game. Examples are improving one's appearance through looks maxing, which is commonly done by gym maxing gym cells. An incel maxes himself in order to avoid being mogged, which is essentially being dominated in appearance by another person. The word comes from the acronym AMOG or AMOG, which stands for Alpha Male of the Group. Examples of mogging include being wrist-mogged, height-mogged, or skull-mogged. Probably the most common of the incel terms is the various types of pills you will encounter. This comes from the well-known scene of The Matrix, where Neo can choose between the harsh truth of the red pill or the blissful ignorance of the blue pill. The red pill, in terms of incel beliefs, means believing that one's success relies entirely on their physical and monetary value, and are not affected by silly, abstract concepts such as love. Red-pilled incels internalize that society has become heavily favored towards hypergamous women, which leave men to be essentially disposable. This is part of their 80-20 rule, where they believe 20% of men are getting 80% of the women, which leave the other men to sexually starve. Red-pilled incels are usually the ones who are trying to max themselves because they feel they wouldn't stand a chance otherwise. When one's red-pilled beliefs twist them into despair, they become black-pilled. The black pill takes away hope and most agency away from the incel and leaves them to believe that their life is hopeless and they were always doomed to their fate. A black pilled incel doesn't even try self-improvement because they believe it to be pointless. However, if an incel can digest and fully integrate the black pill without succumbing to its despair, they may find themselves to be white pilled. The white pill brings back some hope and agency to the incel, and while they still may believe finding a partner is hopeless, they ascend beyond this and find new purpose in an optimistic nihilist sort of way. White pillars no longer curse the world for being in the state that it's in, but simply do their best in whatever way they can. On the other hand, swallowing the blue pill means believing the convenient and comfortable lies told to people by the status quo. The blue pill, in terms of incel beliefs, may be believing that looks and money don't matter as much as an intimate connection, and that everybody can find someone eventually. Taking some of the red and the blue pill creates the purple pill. Purple-pilled individuals may hold certain beliefs of the blue pill while accepting some of the harsh truths of the red pill. They generally try not to choose a specific side, which allows for a more neutral opinion. Incels have an adverse relationship with pickup artists, or PUAs. The incel finds the pickup artist advice to be condescending and unrealistic. They may say that the incel only needs confidence and social skills to pick up women, while the black-pilled incel knows that his sexual market value is far too low, and therefore it's futile to even try. Those against pickup artistry created their own forum, PUAHate.com. However, this website was closed in 2014 after a certain supreme gentleman who frequented the forum did a heckin' shooty shoot. Once PUA hate was down, 
the users migrated to a new, similar site, sluthate.com. Sluthate would evolve the anti-pickup artist scene into one focusing on prejudice towards unattractive people, or lookism. After users of Sluthate complained about the name, loading issues, and a lack of moderation, another website was made under the name lookism.net. Lookism would draw the same black pill discussion about attractiveness, but would eventually also be disbanded. Currently, the site is up for auction starting at $50,000. PUA Hate, Slut Hate, and Lookism would form the trinity of the PSL community, which ran parallel to the incel community, but often had overlapping users. The age of the modern incelosphere is generally agreed to have begun in the 1990s, and thus any celibates before then are known as protocells. Protocells are people who historically had no luck with the opposite sex, such as Beethoven, Emily Dickinson, and Friedrich Nietzsche. Incels like to believe they would have been a part of the incelosphere had they been around today. While the modern use of the word incel is reserved mostly for men, it was actually popularized by a woman named Alana Boltwood. Alana had used the term in her forum, Alana's Involuntary Celibacy Project, which was formed in 1997. She originally used the word invacel, but later changed it to incel by a suggestion from her readers. She maintained this website until 2003, where she handed it off to somebody else because she said the negativity had become too much for her. Alana's website is not the oldest in the incelosphere, however. The first incel community is a Usenet group called Alt Support Shyness, which was created way back in 1988. Originally, this group was used by both men and women to discuss the struggles of being love shy. In the early 2000s, the forum's culture shifted into heavily favoring men and demonizing women. This led to many users leaving, especially the women. This group can still be accessed today. In the following years, the rise of the global access to the internet has led to many more incel forums being created, including a notable German incel sphere known as Absolute Beginners, or ABs, named after the David Bowie song. Another notable Incelosphereian website of the 2000s is Incel Support, which was born from Alana's original community. Incel Support was known for not tolerating comments deemed misogynistic, and would regularly ban and remove such content. Users who felt oppressed by this site's moderation would move to the rival site, Loveshy.com, which reportedly allowed for much more extremist views in comparison. Loveshy would grow into the largest incel community for over a decade, and even had a documentary made in 2011 called Shy Boys IRL to try and explain their frustrations to the world. An incel adjacent community was accidentally created in 2008 in 4chan's Robot 9001 board. This board was designed to force original content, but ended up being a breeding ground for incel adjacent discussion, such as the spilling of spaghetti, hatred of women, or that feel when no GF. The R9K users, known as robots, did not identify as incels, but rather as hikikomoris, a Japanese term which described a socially withdrawn shut-in. One famous poster on the board, Toby Reynolds, who went by the name Eggman, became a bit of an in-celebrity. His odd appearance and life experiences made him a true cell and a hero to incels everywhere. He created a black-pilled series of videos speaking about how his looks had ruined his life and the impossibly high standards of females. R9K popularized the concept of Chad fishing, a type of catfishing using the identity of an exceptionally attractive man known as a Chad, paired with a satirically bad personality. This is done to humiliate the woman on the other side and show how far she would be willing to go for an attractive man. The Incelosphereian community would find itself in the mainstream when it reached Reddit in the r incel subreddit in 2014. This community would grow into over 40,000 members. The first active poster and moderator of this subreddit, Margin Cyclic, already had a long history in the Incelosphere. In 2013, he created his blog, Governments Get Girlfriends, which proposed that governments should provide women to men who were unable to get dates. His aggressive hatred of women would set the tone of the incel community from then on. And as these incels became perceived as a threat to public safety, their community started being taken down left and right. This kicked off what is now known as the Battle of Incelistan, and in 2017, the r incel subreddit was permanently banned. The incels from this community would migrate to a new website, now known as incels.is, which is currently the largest incel forum in the incelosphere. Incels.is also has their own incel wiki, which hosts more than a thousand incel-related articles written by the incels themselves. This wiki hosts information useful to the incels, such as the scientific black pill, 
which uses data from studies to prove that women will never want them. The mainstream media has grouped all incels together as a monolith and characterizes them as hateful, self-loathing, violent extremists. And while this isn't true of every person unable to get some, this stereotype does have a basis in reality. My advice to incels as a chad is to just touch grass and be yourself.